Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Manor Lords. Today I am the spiffing engineer and we are going to find out today that Manor Lords is perfectly balanced. And for every like on this video, I'll be giving away one gold coin to each of you. For I have found an exploit for infinite money. Oh yes. Oh god, if he ever sees that, I'm in so much trouble. All right, so this is where we got to last time. We've got our little triangular hamlet going on. We have 69 construction items. Nice. Uh, and we just made it to a medium village, a level two village. Now, I think our current task should be trying to expand our village. We've got room for eight families. We've got a population of 18, but we have low population growth. We have neutral approval. However, if you look at our approval rating, we're at 61%. We have gone up. In recent days, we have fixed homelessness. We have fixed hunger. And I need to make these guys as happy as possible and then expand the population as quickly as possible so we can get a larger army because that is how we are going to get infinite money. Now, if we zoom out into the map, you remember up here, we had a load of outlaws. Yeah, these guys here. Oh, no, look, they're training. Yeah, they are training for a battle. They know what's coming. But basically, we need to get an army that can take out these damn bandits. Because uh, when we do, we, we get paid pretty handsomely. Uh, and that's also where the exploit comes in. But I think for now, let's just focus on growing what we have. So if we have a look at our triangular building plots, which are are the, the second most effective building plot shape you can have. Uh, you'll see these all have needs. Oh, and actually all the needs are met. We can upgrade these. So we can upgrade to level two. Uh, we could also expand the living space as well. That costs six logs in total. We have 59 logs. So let's do that. Let's upgrade this to a level two. Uh, this one next door. Um, I might add one of these. You can add a backyard extension so we can give it a vegetable garden to allow growing of vegetables, chicken coop for eggs, and a goat shed for is that cheese? Uh, let's get a chicken coop on the goat. Blooming bandits are stealing every- I'm gonna be- I am gonna ruin the bandits. I don't know where they keep coming from. I don't know like what buildings they're stealing from or anything, but we will get our revenge. That I can guarantee. Anyway, down here in our mining pit, you can see we have a family mining our iron deposit, which hopefully means we should be able to build some like extra tools because we're going to have to make our army a little bit stronger. So in the industry tab, we could build a smithy so we can turn our iron slabs into tools. I think that's probably a sensible idea. So let's build one of those down there. You can see this house is being deconstructed. Hang on, let me let me speed up time. Yeah, so this house, this is the one I upgraded. You can see they deconstruct it and then they reconstruct it. So all the roof bits are coming off, all the walls are coming down. And then look, they rebuild it in a in a different shape with a different roof. It will end up with tiled roofs. Anyway, we've been informed of raiders nearby. So should we track their steps? Yeah, let's track their movement. So we got to prepare for the attack. Thankfully, that's what I'm doing already. So yeah, anyway, once the once the level two buildings are in, you can see they actually have different different requirements in order to level them up. So we need to get a tavern on the goat. We need to increase our church level as well. Now, if we go over to our church, you can see it's currently a level one church. Yeah, if we want to upgrade it, you can see here we need five logs, 20 stone, 10 planks and 10. They are roof tiles on the end. How do I get roof tiles? I don't know. I know we can go get the stone because we have a stone mine down here. I don't think there's any families in here right now. But, oh, look, a new family just moved in. Yes. Okay. So up here, this is how many, how many families we have. So we've got five assigned, two are unassigned. They're the ones that do all the all the working, like all the building. So I think if I assign one family to this stone cutter camp, then we should get some stones on the goat, which means we then have all the resources coming in aside from the roof tiles. So let's just try and have a look. How do we get roof tiles? Aha, here in a clay furnace. So this converts clay into clay roof tiles. It needs to be refueled once a month. Okay, so if I build this, remember up here, we have a clay pit. So I reckon and we'll build this way close to it. The trouble is we don't have enough goods. We need two logs and five stone. And look at the moment, we have no stone. So how's our stone mine doing? That family hasn't arrived yet. I'm too impatient. Anyway, let's fast forward. Aha, here we go. Okay, they've arrived. So they're gathering stones. You can see them pickaxing away and then picking up the stones and they put them in the backpack, come over to here where they're stored. Yeah, if you want them to work faster, we have this button. Boosh. <laughs> Look how fast they're working. That is a button I'm trying to get installed in real life for my editors. But anyway, you'll see up here if we hover over construction, we now have stone. Excellent. So yeah, we'll shove a clay furnace up there. Um, we're actually 
actually have to shove someone in the mining pit, to be fair. Could be worth pausing the iron ore guys for now. So yeah, we'll reduce you guys. You can go do something else. We don't need any more iron ore, at least for the short term. All right, then we've got two families unassigned that should come and build this. And actually, now the now the snow's melting. What month is it? It's currently March and there's still snow on the ground. Blimmin' hell. But yeah, I think our woodcutters lodge, we can probably, yeah, look how much, look at the stock they have. That's because they turn a single hit into a huge pile of logs. Look how many logs they got from that one little... <laughs> from that one stump they hit. But yeah, I think we'll... Oh, do I want to pause that? Because they've got a market. Now, the thing with the market is if we head over here, this is our marketplace. You can see we've currently got three market stalls. I think we sell food, we sell leather hides and firewood. Um, and if you look at these houses, look at the market supply. It needs everything. Now, we actually need three food variety in order to level up to level three, as well as an extra clothing variety. I think for now, as we got so much firewood, look, we've got 108 firewood and it's about to be summer. I'm going to pause that. We're going to lose the market stall, but then we've got extra families and I think we're going to be... I think I'm going to put one in the saw pit just so we have more planks. Because looking at this, we've only got 10 planks. And uh, how many planks does the church need to upgrade? It needs 10 planks. So we better make some more planks just so we can build some other stuff. The others are all building, which hopefully means if I set the priority of that to the highest and then fast forward, the clay furnace should be done soon. We can add a family to the mining pit to get the clay. So yeah, now those guys are digging the clay out. And then hopefully when this is built, we should be good. Oh, in the meantime, actually, I should probably get my farm on the go. Because, yeah, look, I built this farm last time. So if I assign a family in there, they should start planting this up. Because it's March now, so things are going to grow in the summer. Uh, I have just used up all of my families, which means... Yeah, look up there. Unassigned families need for construction. So if there's if there's no families unassigned, uh, no one's going to build that clay furnace. So which job can we lose? Probably the stone cutters. They've been working working really hard. We've got 50 stone now. But now these guys are coming up here to finish the construction of this. So yeah, good job shaping those logs into planks, whatever you're doing. Oh, look, a new family moved in. Perfect. Um, actually, we should probably start building some more building plots because we have eight families. We're completely chocker. So residential Burbage plot will get another triangular plot on the go. All right, so we've got three more plots in there. So you can see there's a plus three for when those are built. That is good. Uh, oh, yeah, the clay furnace is pretty much done. You can see the roof is on just in time as the rain has come. What are we waiting for? Just wait for the final piece of stone. Oh, no, and bandits just stole my clay. Wait, hang on, pause, pause. Where are these bandits? So here's my clay thing. They literally stole nearly all the clay. The clay is literally stored here. So there must be bandits like nearby. Where are they? Oh no, the bandits are really annoying me though. They're stealing everything I need. All right, good news though. The clay furnace is done. So if I add a family into there, they should start making the roof tiles. Then we can upgrade our church. Because yes, look at all those. We just need 10 roof tiles and then we're good. So in the meantime, you can see the old ox. Is the ox like on his own? Oh no, that guy's with him. The ox is carrying logs over to these buildings. These are the, the new residential houses. So once they're done, we can have three new families moving. Um, and since we're sort of going for like level two on all these, we should probably get like a tavern in. Then we've got all the amenities sort of set up. You can see food store supply. We've got two markets now. Oh, we've got two markets. So what's the, what is the food variety? Oh, meat. Oh, eggs. Yes, because I did the chicken coop. That's how we're selling. Oh, decent. Okay, I understand now. All right. So if I take one of the level one plots, like this one here. Oh, does it have to be a certain size? How did I manage to get a chicken coop here? Look, you can see the little chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them just chickening around. But yes, yeah, somehow I managed to get a chicken coop on here. Is that because of like the size of it or something? Oh, this one I've already upgraded to have extra housing. I think that's what that little like shed is, like extra housing. So this one over here, yeah, look. Okay, if we get a vegetable garden going on there, that should be even more food variety for the market. So that satisfy those needs. This one here, I imagine, is that too small? Yeah, I think that one's too small to have anything. Um, oh, this one, look, we got a big, a big space there. Does that mean, yes, construction? a backyard extension. Ooh. And because this is level two, we move on from those things. Oh, this is how we make the army stuff. So we can enable the production of tools, spears, and sidearms. Oh, however, it converts all inhabitants into artisans, which means they cannot be assigned to other jobs. Is that the same for all of these? Yeah. Quite like the idea of creating war bows, though. But yeah, the, the market stall supply, that requires shoes, clothes, or cloaks. And so maybe it would be 
wise to do one of those first. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should do shoes. That costs five gold and five pounds planks now we got plank we got 30 planks actually i should probably turn off where is that saw pit there it is i think we probably got enough planks for now uh, what we don't have a lot of is gold though there's only 13 gold left now remember i need my bigger army if we're gonna cope with this so maybe before we invest in shoes and stuff maybe i should just go for like the weapons i'm honestly thinking war bows let's do it so this garden is going to get upgraded you can see it needs four planks first but then we can create the war bows and then hopefully our army should be quite strong strong now bottom left the raiders they're they're like 300 days away from attacking so we're pretty fine in that regard how's our field looking yes we are plowing the field by hand should we get like an ox or something to help can we do that i'm not sure if we can do that but we can see how far through each sort of thing they are so look down here plowing progress 36 percent they then do sowing and then crop growth and then harvesting hopefully i haven't started that too late i wonder actually can we just fast forward and watch this guy like plow oh he's given up he's given up for the date fair enough um, oh look production focus so artisan workshops can be used to produce multiple types of goods got it okay so basically these outbuildings that's the workshops i think we just built the one that makes the the war bows but you can build ones that have like options and i think you can just select like what you want them to build anyway i'm actually going to expand that living space um over here yes look some of these are now built or nearly built at least oh god another ruler's army was sighted oh no what are they that's a huge army I and mean, where is that okay that's not near me they might be oh they might be attacking the old raiders up there oh yeah they are oh man that's a huge army but are they attacking these raiders? Yeah, oh, they literally just... I think I missed the battle. They just destroyed their, their tents. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be trying to do later on. Man, that is a huge... What size city do they have? So I think they're from this yellow area, are they? So if we zoom in over here, are there any cities about? Hmm, not really sure where they're from. But I'm quite worried because they're literally in the in the tile next to me. Although, are they, are they leaving the map? Hang on, let's fast forward. Oh, they came from the edge of the map. You don't go beyond there. All right, anyway, nice. These these huts are now done. So we got three new buildings. We can hold up to 12 families. Um, and I imagine we probably have the resources to upgrade our church now. Yes, we do. So, boosh, get that upgraded. And I'm quite intrigued to see how this actually worked. Like, I love watching the construction process of these. So there's the church as it stands. I think they'll probably tear it down and then rebuild it in stone. By the way, check out our approval rating. Nice. nice. All right, so I think everyone's carrying like the stones over and stuff. You can see them just go back into the woods in the background. The ox is bringing the logs over. Um, oh, a new family moved in. Nice. All right, and then hopefully work can finally begin. There's a lot of resources coming over to this place. Just waiting for two stone and then all the roof tiles to be delivered. Maybe I should get some like more ox and stuff so they can like transport things better. Because yeah, at the moment, all the transportation is being done on foot. So it takes quite a while. Anyway, yes, the church is now being taken down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, they've taken the roof off. They're taking all the walls down and they're rebuilding in stone. So they left the, the wood there as like a little bit of a little bit of a wooden frame. Oh, look at this church though. It's way bigger. So the final bits are going on. The fence has gone round. We have a we have a stone church now, which means these level two houses. Yeah, look, church level two. Decent. Okay, we need to build a pub next. Although with a pub, I don't think we'll be able to supply it because we haven't got a field that's producing the malt, the barley. Uh, we do have this wheat field though you can see they're spreading the seeds <laughs> Um, oh, by the way, I've completely forgotten. We've got all these development points to spend. So we can choose sort of what route we want to go to. Like, do we want to be farmers? Do we want to be smiths? Do we want to be hippies? Whatever we want to be, we can be. Uh, so you can see down here, I got two development points. So we can do charcoal, which makes refueling twice as efficient. Basic armoring. That could be useful for what we're about to do. This one, which is making our traps better. Berries have twice as many berries. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, that's how you get the plow unlocked enables the ox to work the fields yeah i think though i might go for the armory so that is now unlocked all right then i might just double the capacity of all berry deposits because i've got berries over here somewhere but they were like running out yeah berry deposit over here in the woods so i can get a family back in there so that's the forager hut yeah, we still got three families free this is awesome so if i assign one to the smithy and then one back to the mining pit and yeah i'm out of planks again so maybe another one in the saw pit we're not actually building any 
many buildings at the moment. So I think we're good just to have all of our families used in, in buildings. All right, anyway, I'm going to build another plot. And then one of these level two ones, I think I will... Oh, no, I don't have enough. I think I need some planks. I need more planks. All right, I need someone in the saw pit. Oh, no, stocks damaged by weather. Field. Our field's getting rained on. I thought they liked being rained on. Anyway, our oh, growth was only 19%. I think we did start too late then, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, September now. So I've got people back in the woodcutter's lodge. So that means we've got the, the market stall for that, which I think... Yeah, look at this. Oh, we are... We can nearly get to level three. We just need extra clothing supply, which we can do with the artisans once we have the planks in order to build the tailor's workshop. So that will be done. Then it's just the tavern. So what I might do, I can squeeze a road up the back there. Boosh. That would be a great triangle. We can make like a truss of houses. So that can be another another Burbage plot. In fact, may as well do that now. So nice. That can go in there. And then up here, we can put a tavern. So boosh. Tavern there. All right. I need to get the logging camp back underway as well. I don't think we have enough logs to make the planks. Oh, what's this? Wall brand being claimed. Where's that? Oh, this place in the middle. So I can resolve the claim on the battlefield or we just let it be taken. I want to take down raiders. Oh, and annoyingly, there aren't any raiders nearby. They've all been cleared out. <laughs> I think the only raiders are up over this way and I think they're about to be taken out by this army over here. Actually, let's speed up. So yeah, this random army is coming up to these raiders. Oh, wait, no, the raiders are cleared off. It's just their tent. All right, well, I'm still not ready for any large scale war, so I'm just going to have to leave them for now. I think just stick with what I'm doing. I'm doing all right. We got to get to this infinite gold glitch as well. All right, by the way, if I zoom out now, you can see, yeah, look, the yellow took this middle area. Not ideal. Um, I'm thinking maybe there's no raiders about because they are going to be like attacking me. Hence, I got to prepare for the attack. Oh, look, the, the roads get like puddles on them. You need a drainage engineer, you guys. I know one. All right, anyway, something I've sort of worked out. We can't actually get enough planks stored. I think because this this guy here, the Fletcher's shop, they're turning them into the, the bow and arrows. I mean, I can, I should probably, yeah, I'm going to pause this building for now, I think, just so we can finally get some planks on the go. Now, I got two plankers in there. I got two families chopping trees down as well, just trying to get planks. It just wasn't happening. But right now we've stacked them up, which means we can get the tailor's workshop on the go there. All right. And then this tailor's workshop we've just built in the house, we can decide what we want them to make. It looks like we need linen. So I'll make the, gamsons and if we want clothes we need linen and dyes now we're not making either of those so question is how do we do that all right here we go weaver workshop we need wool so if we go back into farming we need a sheep farm in order to do that but sheeps must first be imported via the livestock trader so in trade there's a livestock trading post blooming out okay this is <laughs> this is quite complicated. So we'll shove a livestock trading post there. We'll shove a sheep farm right next to it. And then a weaver workshop next to that. So all three of these buildings are required to make the linen. Now there's also a dye one as well. So this converts berries into dyes. So yeah, maybe I'll shove that next to that as well. Blooming out. I think we're going to need a few more plots. So let's build a plot opposite. Big triangle as before. All right, then we've got loads of planks. So let's turn off the saw pit for now. I think I'll unpause the Fletcher's shop and then we're pretty good. By the way, we're going to be attacked in 55 days now. Um, oh, also, I don't think our tavern works. Yeah, the tavern doesn't work until we actually... Oh, let's pause that then. I think we need another field. Oh, we also need a windmill to turn grain into flowers. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff and a communal oven. So that's the wheat we are making. So we need a windmill. We should probably just shove this up here. So windmill there, communal oven there. So that will allow this wheat to actually be used as something. But I think we need another field with the the barley. So I think this area is still good. So this one will say barley. And then we need a malt house to turn barley into malt. There's so much going on. All right, anyway, bandit camp was sighted. I think I'm going to get my army. Go Where is the bandit camp? Oh, it's all the way over there. Well, yeah, we're under attack in 16 days. So let's go into the army tab. Now we can create new units. Let's do the archer ones. So we got 34 out of 36 archers. So let's rally our troops here. Oh, yes. Here are the archers. So we're under attack in three days. Two days. Okay, we're under attack, apparently. Where from? Where from? Oh, up here. Okay, they've got 18 people with carrots. <laughs> oh, no, they got spiked baseball bats. Okay, right. Where's our where's our archers? There they are. Oh, look at all of these. Right. All right, so we'll line them up this way because the enemy's walking straight towards us. And I've told them to shoot at will. So we should see as these guys get close that the women and children are going crazy. <laughs> Run away. But yeah, right. Archers, they are firing 
Boosh. Oh, straight through the trees. How are these guys doing? Arrows to the face. They do have shields, which isn't ideal. But yeah, oh, I see blood. I see blood. I see bodies. Oh no, they're getting close. They're getting closer. Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, some of them are going down. Oh, maybe I should have kept some spearmen on the go. All right, come on, archers. Right. Oh no, I don't know if I'm doing good or not. Oh yeah, look, we scared them off. All right, well, yes, guys, that was that was very good. We lost a few good men, but uh, overall, we, we definitely won. We defended the place. Um, I think for now, though, I'm going to disband you guys, get back to work, because the settlement, we are we are lacking on food now. Yeah, look, the berries have completely run out. Right, anyway, this year is going to be the year of actual farming. A load of families that are going to be farmers up here. That should be good. Now, we've only got one month's worth of food, though. Not ideal. Maybe we should try and get over here where there's some... Um... Oh, no, no command in this region. Right, i got to try and take this region over. Claim with influence or king's command. I can't do either. All right, well, maybe if I get the windmill done and the communal oven, then I can actually cook some of the some of the grain I have into bread. Otherwise, we might be screwed here. All right, so farming's looking pretty good. It's March. I don't think we'd even started this time last year. We are already plowed most of the fields. Right, anyway, there's the windmill up and running. So let's shove a family in there. They should turn the grain into flour. And then next door, communal oven. Shove a family in there. They turn the flour into bread. Then hopefully we'll have more than one month's worth of food. Yes, we're up to two months. Just about save the day. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. I think all these grey ones are ruled by the outlaws up the top. So we can we can send them a message. Ah, yet another dog has crawled here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Send. All right, nice. The barley is growing well. I don't know what the wheat's doing. Apparently it is growing. I don't see any any wheat. But at least we will have beer. Beer, beer, beer. Beer, 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 beer. All right, so a bandit camp has been sighted over there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take him down. Time to get some infinite money. We've only got 30 coins. I want more. So first things first, we rally our troops. Probably worth just rallying them like over on the edge. So rally over there. So these guys are now making their way. Oh man, look how many there are. This is beautiful. Now the trouble is these guys will get fatigued. You can see, you can see down here the bars. So their fatigue is sort of, it's pretty full. But if if we tell them to run using this button, they use up more fatigue. If they go uphill, they use more fatigue as well. Right, but basically we want to end up over by these bandits. So I'm going to say get in line about there. So we should head straight over to here. I have turned off run to position, so it could take quite a while. Thankfully, at the cost of speeding up the game, we are moving. <laughs> pretty fast. Right, so we've made it over to the bandit camp. You see the bandits, they're getting ready to defend themselves. So I'm just going to click on there, press play. So we should come and take these damn bandits down. Look at them damn bandits with their hoods up. I think they're so bandity. Meanwhile, we meet them in the woods. We have the holy hand grenade flag. Come on, guys, take them down. You can see their numbers are dwindling. And eventually, after a load of fighting, like what? <laughs> what are these two doing? They're just like watching all their mates get killed. Oh no, he's flanking us. He's, oh, he's flanking you. Mate, turn around. Turn around. He's behind you. <laughs> anyway, yes, we have won. So the bandits are now running away. Anyway, with the bandits gone, we can now head up to their camp. And if we just right click on that, we should come up here and then we should destroy this. So here we are. The holy hand grenade emblem ringing true as we destroy that bandit camp. Now here you want to click on this new message thing. And then we, we get told we can either send the resources to the nearest town or we can put it in our treasury. I'm going to send it back to my town. So if we do that, you'll see up here, rather than the 30 coins we did have, we've now got 178. Nice. Anyway, this is where the glitch happens. So you want to save the game. So I'll call this infinite money. Save. Then you want to go to the task manager. You want to go to Manor Lords and you want to end task. All right. Then we just load the game up again and then we load our save up infinite money. And when you do, oh, would you look at that? The bandit camp is back. Uh, and not only that the bandits are not back which means we can literally with our 178 coins in hand we can just take out the bandit camp again boosh we get another new message we can send resources to the nearest town so look now we got 515 coins and then we can just rinse and repeat so we have infinite money however i actually quite like the game i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ruin my save so uh, i might just bring these guys back back home. And I reckon that's probably a good amount of money. Look, we're up to 704 quid. Uh, in the meantime, how are our actual growth getting on? So the the malt, the barley, 43% growth. Yep, you can see that definitely. The wheat doesn't look great. I'm not going to lie. Has that grown at all? What does it say? 50% growth? <laughs> 
Um, are we sure about this? I don't see any growth. Uh, I do see a whole load of deforestation. Look how many trees we've chopped down. Blimey, no, we may actually need to move our logging camp. So yeah, I can relocate this. It's probably worth shoving it like actually up here, like up in the trees. The same with my, my firewood one as well, actually. The woodcutter's log. I mean, there are still a few trees to chop down. Maybe I won't move that one yet. But yeah, that probably needs to move over to these trees. Anyway, with my cash, I think I probably want to buy sheep so we can get linen in, we can get wool, and then we can get clothes. And then I think people should level up. Like if we look at these houses, yeah, they just need the tavern to be done. That will be fine once we got the, the malt harvest done. And then it's just clothing supply too, which we need. I mean, oh, actually shoes is one of them. Oh, maybe we don't. Maybe we can just use the leather we've got. All right, tell you what then. If we level this up to level two, highest of priorities, please. Actually, we need we need our logging camp done first. All right, good work building in the rain. All right, logging camp is done. Then we can build the level two house, which is nearly done. All right, there we go. Sorted. We can then, I think this drop down. Yeah, if we get five planks, we can enable the production of shoes. Right, anyway, it's now October, so I think think did we did we get wheat windmill did you make flour yeah we got 36 wheat i think we just gotta wait for the for all the the army to come back that's these guys they've just literally just returned home so i think once they're back we should actually get some flour and then the communal oven we can make bread and then food should be good over here the malt house we got malt and barley so that should make us beer for the tavern uh, oh no winter's approaching right come on where are the planks where are the planks oh don't know where the planks are but look we do have bread now we got seven bread so the communal oven did its job as did the old windmill love to see that and yeah now we've got an extra market stand that does bread Although it's probably soggy bread again in this rain. But anyway, we finally have the planks, which means we can get the cobbler's workshop on to make shoes. So nice, we got a cobbler's shop. So they'll produce shoes, which means we should have the clothing store supply done shortly. Anyway, the snow is now settling and we're running out of fuel. So let's add a few more woodcutters to that. There are still trees around, so it should be okay. Oh no, deforestation killed berry bushes. Oh no, I shouldn't put the logging camp so close close to the berries. There's no berries left. That's going to kill the wildlife as well. All right, relocate up over this way. <laughs> <laughs> Moved it for the third time today. All right, anyway, so sheep we want to import. They cost 30 each. So let's get, I don't know, three sheep. And then that's how we'll get the clothes should the shoes not work. I think the shoes should work though. Where is the cobbler? There they are. So we just need one of these market stands to turn into a shoe one, a cobbler one. Oh yes, which we have. This one's selling shoes. Okay, so level two. Yes, all ticked off. We just need the tavern to have beer. I'm guessing there's a step between Malt's house and the tavern to actually make the ale. We'll have to try and find that out, but I think we'll do that next time. For now, I'm going to say peace, love, and oh boy, is that an army? Like, do they want to attack me? Please don't attack me. Bye, guys!